In this video, I'm going to show you a really neat script and also a add-on that you can use in your class to keep track of kids' progress throughout a project. So that's one use of this. You can also just use it for many other things. Uh, but to get this document, I have it on my website. So if you go to edtechtrainings.com and then click on Google Scripts, I'll be adding more here. But if you just click on Copy File, um, then you're going to make a copy of this, and this will be the file with uh, this little add-on here with the script. So to use this, you would just put in the students' names right here. So you can copy and paste from a list. We'll just put in a few. All right. And then if you want them to be view only documents, then you would put their email in here. And if you want them, if you want the student to have editing capabilities for that document, then you put them here. Um, for the sake of doc appender, I would suggest that you do the view only. So you would just do like joe at gmail.com and mike at gmail.com and so on, um, whatever their email address is. You can leave it blank if you want, that's totally fine, it'll still work. So at that point, you just go up to Create Documents, column A, B, and C, and click Create Docs for Students. It'll ask you for authorization, so you just click Continue, then you click Allow, and then a little box will pop up and it says enter the name of the folder that you want the files to go into. So we create a folder, um, so we'll just do Test, OK. And what that does is it creates a folder in your Google Drive and it creates a Google document for Joe, Mike, Corey, Carol, and Tina. So I'm going to go to my drive and here's my test. It just got created. You can see it was 324 and there we go. And then you can see the sharing settings was, was there. So at that point, that's to set up all of these different documents is an easy way rather than going one by one create 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 and renaming everything so now I'm going to show you the add-on for forms called doc appender so I'm going to create a new Google form and we can label this whatever we want we'll do name here for the students name and we can do a drop down or choose from a list then right here we'll do paragraph text and summary of accomplishments. So that's what they accomplished for the day. So they would select their name from this drop down list and then what they did for the day. And then it would automatically go straight into their specific document which is your choice of having view rights or editing rights. And then right here, I'm going to go up to Add-on, Doc Appender, which if you don't have it, you just click Get Add-ons and then do Doc Appender. Open up the sidebar. And what this will do is it says pick a folder. So I'm going to pick it from my drive. It's Test, which is what I created. So right there, Select. At the bottom, I'm going to click Next. And then it says Select the Question. This doesn't populate right away, so I just click Refresh List refreshes this and then name appears here. So I'm going to save and populate and now all of my names will appear in here. So these are all the files or Google documents that are actually in that folder. And then I'll click next. And then what do I want every time a student submits this? I want the timestamp, I want their name, and I want their summary. And you can mess around with this I personally like this one. It takes up the least amount of space and it's just nicely nice on the sheet. So I'll click Enable. And now it's ready to go. So I'm going to click View Live Form. And we'll do Joe. Da, 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 da. Submit. Submit another one. Joe. I got a lot done today. So now, this is the form that you would allow your students to have access to, and they can submit as many responses as they'd submit one response per day for their project. Then as a teacher, you have access to all of their different documents, and I just click on Joe, and 
these are the two timestamps and what they did for that project that day. It's great for group projects. Um, so that's how you combine everything together. So I hope this helps.